Hello there and welcome to this video in which you're going to learn about conjunctions in Dutch and the word order that uh, changes with these conjunctions. And well, this is a typical challenge for English speakers when they're learning Dutch. And we're going to see right away why, why that's such a challenge. Let's take an example here. Uh, imagine you're having a conversation and someone tells you this. Because I now work, can I earlier leave? And you'll be like, oh, well, that's that's so wrong. <laughs> Why do you say such a, uh, such a sentence? And actually this sentence, this, the structure of this sentence is exactly how you should um, structure your sentences in Dutch. So yeah, it's very weird and complicated. So let's learn how you can make these kinds uh, of sentences. So let's start first with the conjunctions. What are conjunctions? Well, conjunctions are those words that combine sentences. Uh, for example, maar, but, want, because, and also terwijl, while, omdat, because, again, an, al an alternative for uh, want, als and wanneer. And als and wanneer are synonyms, they are uh, when or if. So, the four bottom ones are the problematic ones. The ones on top, they don't change anything to the, uh, the word order. It's the same word or order as in, uh, as in English. But the ones on the bottom, which are often used, I mean, we're using uh, uh, when or if, quite a, uh, a bit of times and uh, while and because, well, yeah, we also use them quite often. So what's happening with those, with those words? Let's take an example. Waarom werk je nu? Why do you work now? Hmm? Omdat hij later komt. Because he comes later. And you see there the komt, that's comes, uh, is in front of later, later. And that is what I call the catapult. And many others people, uh, many other people use uh, this, this, uh, this word to describe what happens. And uh, put this image in your brain. So whenever you see terwijl, omdat, als, wanneer, or whenever you're using it, catapult. That image, yes, a catapult. And why is it a catapult? Well, because the, uh, the, these conjunctions catapult the, uh, the verbs at the end of the sentence. So, omdat hij later komt. Komt, in English, would be just after the subject. Hij, because he comes later. But no, the catapult catapults it at the end of the sentence. Another example. Wanneer eet je? When do you eat? Wanneer de gasten buiten zijn. When the guests are outside. Catapult, are outside. And the catapult also works when you're um, having two verbs, for example, in the future tense. Wanneer eet je? Wanneer de gasten buiten zullen zijn. When the guests will be outside. So it catapults all the verbs at the end of the sentence. All right. Uh, so let's put these sentences in one sentence. Ik werk nu omdat hij later komt. Huh? Komt. Catapult. I work now because he, he comes later. We gaan op restaurant als jij de rekening betaalt. We go to the restaurant if you pay the bill. Hmm, well, that's not a nice thing to hear, but you can say it uh, to someone if you want. If you want someone to pay uh, the bill for you, but if you're uh, if, I, uh, if you're asking someone to pay the bill for you, do it the right way, right? In uh, the right Dutch. Uh, als je de rekening betaalt, and betaalt is at the end catapult. Uh, if there's one thing you need to remember about conjunctions. It's the catapult. Uh, for uh, main uh, conjunctions, use the catapult. 
And uh, let's put it in the past tense. We gaan op restaurant als jij de rekening hebt betaald. Hm? Hebt betaald. Verbs. So, at the end. All right. So, let's complicate things a little. Let's start the sentences with the conjunction. And what's going to happen then? Well, let's see in the example. Terwijl de gasten buiten zijn, eat ik. While the guests are outside, I eat. First part of the sentence. Catapult. Wanneer de gasten buiten zijn. All right. But the tricky part is the second part. Uh, then you will have inversion, like if you're asking a question. Uh, eat ik. I eat. All right. So if you have the conjunction at the start of a sentence, you do the inversion afterwards. Good. Now, another example. Als jij de rekening betaalt, gaan we op restaurant. If you pay the bill, we are going to the restaurant. First part. Catapult, because it's after uh, the, uh, the conjunction als, and als takes the catapult. Gaan we op restaurant inversion. Uh, another one. Uh, omdat ik nu werk, vertrek ik vroeger. Because I work now, catapult, I leave earlier. Uh, and in, in English it would be like leave I earlier. Alright, inversion. And let's complicate it uh, even a little more. So uh, now let's use a modal verb uh, in the second part of the sentence. Omdat ik nu werk... Kan ik vroeger vertrekken? And the first part, normal, catapult. But in the inversion, you only invert, every time, inversion always works like this, you only invert the conjugated verb. Kan ik vroeger vertrekken? And the infinitive is at the end of the sentence. And that's different from the catapult, because the catapult will join the, the two verbs at the end of the sentence. And uh, this one will put the verb at the end of the sentence because it's inversion. And that is actually the, the, the phrase that we've seen at the beginning of this video. Uh, because I now work, can I earlier leave? Well, that's it. Omdat ik nu werk, kan ik vroeger vertrekken. All right. And let's have a last complication, you know, since we're here. Uh, let's complicate things even a little more. Uh, let's have um, two verbs at the, uh, at, with the sentence with the conjunction and two verbs at the end. Omdat ik nu ga werken, kan ik vroeger vertrekken. So here you see clearly ah, uh, the uh, catapult works with the both verbs, but the inversion only inverts the, um, the, uh, the conjugated verb. So, lot, lots of uh, things to think about, uh, try to introduce it in conversations, uh, especially when you're starting, try to start sentences with a conjunction. If someone asks, well, uh, um, why is the weather bad? Uh, then just say, because, well, because it's bad. And then you will train yourself to use it correctly with the catapult. Uh, and with the inversion and later on when you're progressing or if you're a more advanced student then you can start making more complicated sentences all right this question was asked by uh, someone on this channel so feel free to ask any questions and if you want to do exercises or if you want to have more of these kind of issues uh, feel free to buy my book with over 300 of the common dutch language errors made by uh, English speakers. Uh, you will find exercises and solutions and the reason why um, uh, English speakers make these mistakes just like you've seen in this video. The link is in the description. All right. Tot ziens.